Victoria, here's our new problem this week. And a little while ago, I read it to you, and you use these raisins right here as, in place of baseballs to show a concrete representation of this. And in a second, you're gonna give us a sketch. But before you do that, I have some questions. So can you tell us, what do you know in this problem? I know that Jared has 12 baseballs and he gives each of his friends four baseballs. Okay, and what is it that you're trying to figure out in this problem? We're trying to figure out how many friends he has. Okay, or how many he can give baseballs to? Yeah. Okay, so a couple of things. Do you think this is gonna be a multiplication problem? No. Why not? Because we, in this problem, we know the total. Oh, and in multiplication, we're trying to figure out the total, right? Yes. Okay, so you think you're thinking it's a division, and you showed that to me before. But last week, you did a division problem with you and Layla. Remember this one with the rocks? And you had to share them equally with her, right? Yes. So I'm wondering something. If this is division and this is division, are, is this going to be the same? No. Okay, what do you mean by no? What's different about these situations? Because we knew how many groups were friends. Oh, we had two, and what about here? Do we know that now? No. So this one, we don't know the amount of groups. Okay, so can you show us, um, using a marker there, a sketch of this, please? Yes. Okay, and I'm happening to notice something. I'm noticing that you are doing four in a row, four in a row, and four in a row. And last week you didn't do that. Last week you went one for Victoria, one for Layla, one for Victoria, one for Layla. So why did you not go back and forth with the groups this time? Because last time we did not know how many were gonna be in each group. But this week you do. Oh, you do know. So you knew four in each group. So you could make a group of four. Okay, can you circle your groups for us, please? And do you think that you could also write an equation to go with this and talk about what the numbers mean? Yes. So we have 12, we have 12 base, baseballs. Okay. And that would be divided by four baseballs that go to each friend. Okay. And then we have one, two, three groups, so it equals three friends. Oh, three friends, because a group is a friend. All right, Victoria, you did awesome. Thank you.